What is up guys? I'm Donut Duchess. If you have been wondering if you should add sand to your turtle tank, this video might help you. So I'm gonna talk about what kind of sand I use, why I pick sand over all other substrates, and how to add the sand to your tank. So there's a few reasons why I pick sand over all other types of substrate. The first reason is mainly because other types of substrate, such as gravel and small rocks, can be dangerous for your turtle. They can actually try to eat it, and if they swallow it and it gets stuck, they could die. So for me, that wasn't worth the risk, and I would rather have sand, which they might try to eat it, but they're not gonna die. My turtle actually did try to eat the sand when I first put it in, and he just spit it out. They don't know any better. They're like toddlers. If it's something that they can put in their mouth, they might try to do it. So just be wary of that. The reason that I picked aquarium sand as opposed to pool filter sand, um, there's a few reasons. So pool filter sand is popular because it's so cheap. Um, the downside of that is it's really dirty and it's a lot of work to have to clean it out first and it can also clog your filter, supposedly. I've never tried pool filter sand, but from the reviews that I've seen of other aquarium enthusiasts using pool filter sand, a lot of them preferred aquarium sand over the pool filter sand. The great thing about the aquarium sand is that I didn't even have to wash it. Some people say that you do. With the Imagitarium brand that I used, it was already clean and I really didn't feel like I had to wash it. I tried to a little bit, but it was already clean. So I just put it directly in my tank and I didn't have to do any work other than that. I do want to mention that I used to be one of those turtle tank um, keepers that had nothing on the bottom of the tank. It used to be just completely bare. That might work for you. A lot of turtle keepers do recommend that. I've had my turtle for about five years now and I have to say that it hasn't worked for me. And the reason for that is my turtle is bored. When turtles are in their natural environment, they're digging and they're searching for things and that's fun for them. And when my tank is completely clean with no substrate, he doesn't really have a whole lot to do. And the way that I can tell that he's bored is he spends a lot of time glass surfing, which means he's trying to get out and he's not having fun. And that's not normal. So if you notice your turtle is glass surfing, there could be a whole bunch of different reasons. Obviously they do it when they're excited, but sometimes they, if they do it abnormally, there's something wrong. So not having substrate might be one of those reasons for you. I use this Imagitarium Aquatic Substrate brand, which is, I think, $25 or about $25 for a 20 pound bag. And the rule of thumb is you want to have one pound of sand for every gallon of water that your tank holds. So you want to cover the whole bottom. That's the idea to just cover the whole bottom about one to two inches. So substrates are important because they allow beneficial bacteria to flourish in your tank. You don't wanna to have too much or too little of the substrate in your tank. So you wanna follow that general rule of thumb uh, of one pound per gallon of your tank. And that's gonna be best for your natural ecosystem. So let's just talk about how did I get the sand in my tank. Um, first, I took the turtle out of the tank because I didn't wanna stress him out. I would advise taking out all of the toys and rocks and stuff. I didn't do that and it kind of made it more difficult for me um, unnecessarily. So about halfway through, I started taking the toys out. Leave the water at max of what you would normally keep it at. You don't have to empty the tank out because if you put the sand in first and then you add in the water, the sand is gonna go all over the place. First, make sure everything's turned off, the heater, all the power stuff, the filter, and then you're gonna wanna take a small plastic container, fill up the container with sand, and then slowly add it in, just like this, until you hit the bottom, and then shake it out a little bit and it'll fall out on its own. You'll notice that some of the sand rises to the surface. This might have been solved if I had pre-rinsed the sand, I'm not sure, um, but, Either way, the sand has little air pockets in it. 
The way you can fix this is just by pinching out the little sand particles that are floating and they'll float back down to the surface. So I just kept doing this for about an hour until the tank was completely filled. And then I went ahead and added all the toys in. And then finally I put the turtle back in and he seemed pretty happy with it. My next challenge is to add more plant life to the tank now that I have a substrate. Um, I do have one plant in here. I'm gonna see if I can add other plants. If your turtle's like mine, he might try to destroy them. I'm gonna see what I can get away with because I really wanna have a natural tank with actual plant life and fish. So that's my goal, adding fish, adding plants. I have a couple of different exciting plants that I'm getting. Uh, one of them is Amazon frog bit. It looks like lily pads. I plan on propagating and basically breeding those plants. I also have dwarf hair grass that I'm gonna be adding to this. So if you guys wanna see my new plant lab coming up, then make sure you like this video and I'll see you later. Bye.